Hey everybody, so today's video is going to be a read this video. I haven't done a read this video in two months on this channel, so it is time for a read this video. I have four books to show you guys today, and what the read, th read this videos are, um, they are videos that where I recommend books to you guys that I have read and then have enjoyed. Um, so yeah, but before I get to that, I want to thank Dina and Vicky for sending me all of this, this box of goodies. Um, I, I don't know why, but I didn't do an unboxing video for it, but I'm really sorry about that. They sent me a TBR jar and a bunch of decor for my um, bookshelf. But thank you guys so much for sending this stuff to me. Um, I actually put the vintage one that I had away because I had a feeling that I was going to break it. But I'm really glad that I have this one now and it's so pretty and blue and I love it. And um, I actually moved my Union J poster over here because it was over here. And um, you guys haven't seen this yet, I'm pretty sure. And um, unless you follow me on Twitter. But I bought it in the, and got it in the mail and I'm so excited about it. All my sexy boys are on there and it's going to be there for a while. So um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get on with today's video. So the first book that I want to tell you guys about is Death Dickinson and the Demented Life of Francie Garcia by Jenny Torres Sanchez. I read this last month and I really, really enjoyed it. I gave it four out of five stars, I think, or I think I gave it five stars. But um, I really, really loved this one. This is about a girl who spent um, a whole night with this guy and then uh, the next day he kills himself and she can't help but wonder why because I don't think he ever made it clear and um, so she decides that she's gonna do repeat the whole night again and um, she meets this guy and he sort of helps her figure everything out and to me this was just an amazing book I loved it so much it was really deep it was dark it was morbid it was it was funny at times and I really really enjoyed this one so if you can pick it up I would definitely recommend it and the cover is absolutely stunning so yeah really really good the next one I have is Beastly by Alex Flynn um, this is the revised cover of it but the original one has like a rose on it but um, I bought this book the original book I bought it in 2000 the beginning of 2011 if I'm not mistaken um, because I had heard the movie was coming out and I wanted to read the book and it became one of my favorite books of all time um, and this one actually includes Lindy's diary so and I haven't read that yet but I need to but Beastly is such such a good book I loved it so much and uh, it is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast uh, set in mo modern times and it's absolutely amazing if you've seen the movie and you don't like the movie read the book the book is way better it's not a good um, adaption in my opinion but I thought the movie by itself was okay but as an adaption I don't think it was good go check this one out if you can then the last two I have are John Belair's books um, I can never recommend him enough and um, this one is the mansion in the mist and then this one is the mummy the will and the crypt and um, you know so October is coming up and I would definitely recommend these for October because these are really good and really spooky reads and um, the mummy the will in the crypt is uh, I really don't want to tell you guys exactly what these are about because I feel like I will spoil them for you but these books are mainly about um, young boys who um, they're I think they're 12 or 13 years old and they have a friend who is an older person um, elderly person and they go on these fantastical adventures they have magic suspense mystery and some craziness and they're very dark books and they're supposed to be for kids but um, no they're not for kids I don't think so but um, they're really good and I love them and I John Belair is my favorite author like I've said before but yes so go check out these awesome books and I will see you guys next time with another video as again I'm very sorry there won't be that many videos this month and also I will no longer be doing tag videos um, probably not until next year because I am so busy and I know that I'm gonna be busy until the end of the year so um, I won't be doing any tag videos those are very like time-consuming because I have a schedule for what I like to do so I'll see you guys next time okay yeah bye